Hey there, Scorpio. This is Renee, and welcome back. Scorpio, this is going to be your April 2023 reading. This is a general reading, so we're going to cover whatever comes out. And we're already dropping things out. Wow, okay. So let's get into it. Now, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, um, go ahead and take a look at your other placements, okay? So let's get into it because the cards want to fly already. Okay, we have Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You know, so there, there may be some kind of honeymoon stage. Or you may be literally going on a honeymoon um, with someone, right? You may have just gotten married or this is what you're anticipating in april okay so this is something that that if if you haven't seen this this is coming you're either going through some kind of honeymoon stage some kind of new beginning in a relationship or you're literally going on a honeymoon this is you know really you taking time out to spend time together to do things together and really enjoy yourself so this is really, really nice to start out with here, Scorpio. So let's take a look. Let's get some more energy. See what else is coming out for you. Victory. Yes. Archangel Sandalphon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Okay, so you have victory in April. April is going to be very victorious for you. It's going to be a really nice time. Um, you're going to have a lot of success. Some of your hard work is now paying off and you're able to enjoy the fruits of your labor, right? So this is really, really going to be a fantastic month for you. Let's get into it. Yeah, look at this. Number 34, a leg up. So where things were not looking so bright in March, you're now getting some kind of victory, some kind of success. There's, you know, the, the month of April is going to be like a helping hand, right? Um, the number 34 may be very significant for you. It may be your age. It may be your person's age or the number seven is very significant, right? So, um, but I feel like the month of April, there's, there's going to be ease is what I'm getting. You're going to be able to just flow through this, right? I'm not going to say there's not going to be little stumbling blocks along the way, but it's going to feel like it's a breath of fresh air, okay? And we have deep knowing at the bottom. Number 43, look at that. We had number 34, now we have 43. That So those numbers are, are very significant. It could also be number seven, right? Um, <clears throat> so I feel like, you know, there's just a deep feeling of peace. Of being at peace, right? Finding that calm space and meditating and just you know taking in this month just enjoying the month of april because i feel like you have had a hard time already this year you know things have been happening for you scorpio right and i feel like this is going to be a month for you to really get your bearings back really feel like you're ready to take on the rest of the year okay so let's take a look and see what's going on for Scorpio in love. Let's get a message. What's going on in Scorpio's love life, please? <clears throat> I 
and I'm sorry because my voice is just not there yet. It's like six in the morning and yeah, usually on the weekends I usually jump right in. So please forgive me. My voice is trying to wake up. Okay, we have the butterfly. Yes, beautiful. Re relationships evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So this is beautiful. I feel like, you know, you you really deserve, you know, a fresh start, something really evolving, something really growing. Um, see, I seen a card that was flipped over. There we go. Okay. What else do we have for Scorpio? What else do we have for Scorpio, please? The dragonfly. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. We have the butterfly and the dragonfly. So there's a lot of evolution here. It's like being in a cocoon for such a long time and finally being able to emerge, right? Finally being able to fly, to soar. And I feel like with this, if you are in a relationship, I feel like you're really expanding the relationship, right? Things are coming to light. You're finding out about each other. Things are adapting, changing. There's healing going on in your relationship uh, where there needs to be healing. And if you're not in a relationship, I feel like this is... This is giving you the ability to evolve, to change, to look for that particular someone. Not necessarily the same type of person that you've had in the past, right? I feel like your tastes and people are evolving. They're changing. You're looking for different types of people, right? You're looking for different qualities, um, I feel like you're growing in the situation, right? So that's beautiful energy, Scorpio. I feel like I feel like things are really coming together. Like you're really expanding and growing in your situation, okay? And I feel like there's someone who is reminiscing. There's someone who is really thinking about you. They may have learned their mistakes from the past. And I feel like they're, they're taking a look at you. They may be watching your social media. They may be reminiscing in their mind, in their thinking. But there's someone who's thinking very thoughtfully about you, right? They, they, this person may try to come back at a certain point because their thoughts are very deep. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. Let's take a look and see what's going on for Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio, please. Message for Scorpio for April 2023, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. A message for Scorpio. All placements, please. Okay. Yeah, look at this. The Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Temperance. Beautiful. The Ten of Swords. The Four of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. The Moon. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. At the bottom we have the Fool. So what you're not expecting in April. There's a new beginning. There's a new beginning. And it is coming after some kind of ending. Something had to end. To bring on this new beginning. You know in life we have so many endings. And so so many beginnings. But there's something that you're beginning again. 
there's something that's starting and I feel like you're starting on a very faithful note, right? I feel like what I'm getting is you may be going it alone on this journey. Okay? Very interesting. I need to get more information on this. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get more information. We'll clarify these cards. Okay. So, in the month of April, we have a very solid offer here. We have an offer of prosperity, of abundance. This may be an a incredible job offer that brings increase, right? Um, this may be a new career. This may be something that you have invested in that's bringing you a great abundance at this moment. But this is increase. And this is something that's coming in that's solid, that's dependable, right? Um, this is a new beginning to some kind of ending here that just wasn't working out. It just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. Okay? Um, I feel like you have, you kind of saw this coming because you, you prepared yourself. You've had patience in the situation. Okay? So you saw this ending coming. And you saw it as like, it, it has to stop. It has to end. This just isn't working. We need to try something else. We need to get back to the drawing board, right? Um, but I feel like you, you actually saw this coming in April. You saw it happening. Um, and it turns out to be some kind of blessing for you, you know. Um, it's a blessing for a new beginning because, see, it's putting you into the area of relaxation, of feeling relaxed, of juvenized. So whatever this ending is, this ending was causing you a lot of chaos. It was causing you a lot of conflict. It just wasn't working the way it was supposed to. You were very frustrated. Okay? And now after this ends, now you're able to relax. Now you're able to gain your focus. Right? To really um, take a look at what can be in a new beginning and change your focus and really dive into taking care of yourself, taking care of your needs, right? But I feel like, you know, you, you were ready for this ending. You know, because you're you're more calm, you're more peaceful, you're finding your peace after a lot of conflict, a lot of drama, right? So you were just booting that stuff out the door. You know, we're kicking this to the curb. We see it don't work. So we need some calmness in our life. Let's go ahead and, you know, this has to end. Well, after this ends... You're being recognized. You're having success, right? The Six of Wands energy to the moon, to the Nine of Pentacles. So you're able to focus more on the things that matter. And I feel like you're being noticed. You know, you're being seen. It could be that people are just looking at you like, Scorpio, hey, you got it going on, girl or guy, right? And they're taking a look at you. They're, they're looking at who you are, 
what you have to, you know, give to the world, right? Um, and I feel like you don't know all the answers. Some things may be revealed to you that are going to push you into a more independent situation. As something is going to come through. And it's a secret. It's hidden. It's not known to you. You know, but you're going to, there, there's something that's going to be revealed that's going to help you with this increase. Look at this. And we have, we have this solid offer here, right? So that there's something that's going to push you into this increase. Something is going to help you through, right? That's the words that I'm getting. Something is going to help you through. But you have your success. You have abundance here. You know, you have the increase that maybe you're not expecting. So let's go ahead and take a look at clarifying these cards. Take a look at clarifying. Give me a message for Scorpio, please, to clarify this message. Give me a message for Scorpio. All placements. Message for Scorpio. Wow. Okay. It's a lot of cards. Okay. Yeah, look at this. We have the Ten of Swords again. So, this ending, this ending is taking you out of your comfort zone. But you do have healing. You are healing through this situation. And you're able to grow. You're growing something. Wow, okay. We have the King of Wands too. Okay. Look at this. At the bottom we have the Judgment. Wow. The Page of Swords, the Six of Cups, okay, and the Strength. So some of your strength, let, let me get to this real quick. Some of your strength has been taken through the situation. Through the situation that's ended, you know, you've taken a lot of strength to try to build something up, to try to hold something together, right? And you're, you're feeling really weak at this moment, but you need to really take time out and relax take time out and build yourself back up rejuvenate rejuvenize your body right um see we have the four of swords upright right after this ten of swords okay but here we have the four of swords in reverse so i feel like you know you're doing the same old thing you're doing that same old thing. You are putting more energy into something else and, and not putting that energy into yourself, not giving yourself that complete healing, not building up your complete strength, right? So, and I feel like, you know, yeah, something ended, something had to go. And it, it may have left you feeling unfulfilled at the moment. But I feel like, you know, there's healing here. There's a reason to pursue something else. Because I see that you're very curious. You're, you're looking for something else to put your energy into, right? And I feel like you're putting energy into the other people around you. And not enough energy into yourself. Okay, I feel like you're in Scorpio takes care of everything mode. That that's the words that I'm getting, right? And I, I feel like you're, you know, Scorpio, you are a super woman, you're a super man, right? And you take care of everything that fulfills everyone else's needs. But when are you able to truly Fulfill your own needs, your own healing, right? Because 
you're sitting here and you're very unfulfilled. You're looking for ways to feel better. You're looking for ways to heal. Right? So, I, I feel like this message is very clear that Scorpio, it's time to plant the seeds and take care of yourself. Take care. You know, I, I feel like with what this is saying, that there's seeds that need to be planted here, right? You're growing in this situation, but you also have yourself locked away because you're too busy taking care of everything else. You're like, I really don't matter. I'm fine. I can... You know, I'll be fine, but I need to take care of them, right? And no, that's not the case, right? You can't just lock yourself away or lock your feelings away and not grow in your situation, you know? So it's very interesting here. <clears throat> Now, at the bottom here, we have this King of Wands. And this King of Wands is coming out as very fiery, very manipulative, kind of coming in at a time of your most vulnerable. Right? I'm going to get some more messages for this king because I feel like this king is trying to take advantage of the situation. Now, this king may, may be very attractive. He may be very appealing, but I feel like he's very manipulative, right? Um, I just get that sense from him that he's... Like, taking advantage of your situation. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. And the Page of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. Hmm. Uh, whoever this king is, I feel like he's coming in fast. Um, I feel like he's making a fast offer and he's promising you balance. He's promising you that things will be better, that things will be equal, that, you know, they... that he'll be a real, or she'll be a real helpmate, right? I feel like he, this person, this King of Wands, they may come in with generosity. Um, I feel like they, they say the right thing. They say exactly what sounds good, right? And I feel like they, they know exactly how to get to you because they're saying just the right thing. They are so appealing. So, hmm, tell me more about this. Tell me more about this King of Wands. He's just not coming out right for me at the moment. Tell me more about him. Or her. Hmm. We have the four of swords and the five of cups. The bottom we have the five of wands. So I'm I'm feeling with this five of um, with this five of wands energy at the bottom. I'm feeling like this person is this is someone trying to come back. 
This is someone wanting a second chance, wanting to get their foot in the door yet one more time, right? Making promises that everything will be different, everything will be better, I, everything will be balanced. I'm, you know, I, I'm offering you generosity and help. And I feel like Scorpio, I feel like you're on to this person's manipulative nature, right? I feel like you, you totally see through them because you've kind of been through this situation many times before. And I, I, I see that you're, you're like, hey, you know, King, I'm so attracted to you. I'm so, you know, you, you have all these good qualities, but you're just not right for me. You know, I feel like. Scorpio, I feel like you're focusing on yourself. You're you're not even giving this person the time of day. You're like, no, I don't have time. You know, I know I know your schemes, your you know how you run things. I know where you're coming from. You haven't changed none, right? So very interesting here. Very interesting. I do feel like there's a, a better offer. There is a better offer here. I feel like you, you see this person's ways. This king of wands. You see his ways for what they really are. And there's going to be a more solid offer of love that will be coming in in April. Okay? Um, I feel like it's, it's something that... May be very unexpected. You know, you may not see this coming. Um, but I feel like this is something that you're truly thinking about. You're manifesting. You're manifesting this solid offer. This is something that you've been wishing for, right? And you want to see where this offer takes you next. Okay? Let's go ahead and get some romantic tarot. Let's see what this has in store. Get some romantic tarot. The Nine of Abundance. Look at this. We have the Nine of Pentacles again. So, life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy, right? So yeah, there's there's definitely some kind of increase that's happening for you. And we have the Eight of Thoughts. Okay, this is the Eight of Swords. So this is that restricting energy that we was feeling, you know? You not being able to release yourself from some kind of... I want to say distraction, right? You may feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in, but that's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself, okay? So... Beautiful. And we have the healer of action. So this is the queen of wands, right? This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to. If your heart is open, you're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know that you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who is loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace, right? So, yeah, you're the queen of wands, Scorpio. You can handle the situations. And at the bottom, we have the number seven. And what did I say? The number seven is very significant for you. This is the third time 
that this has come out. So look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to the Divine's guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with gratitude you deserve, right? So that's beautiful energy. That's the Six of Wands energy, you know, that we were seeing. And, um, and I love when a reading goes kind of, you know, exactly the way I'm describing, you know, that makes me feel so good in the reading because I know that, you know, I'm interpreting Spirit's message accurately. You know, I'm doing it in my own words, but I'm, I'm doing it accurately, right? So let's take an angel number. Let's see, because we're already going long here. Okay, your angel number. Things may feel out of sync and not within your control. The whisper of the divine is asking that you remember that you are being supported, that your will is your superpower. Determination is key right now. Okay, your affirmation, Scorpio. I call on my strength and my willpower to take the lead. I accept and listen to the support of the divine of the divine within me, right? So your angel number is 1616, okay? So if this reading resonates, please um, like and subscribe. And um, if it doesn't resonate with you, Scorpio, please take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more at this moment, right? And until your next reading, many, many blessings to you, Scorpio. Love and light.